await us every day. We have hundreds of conversations. We plan, arrange and clarify. We act. And yet, acting separately, we still make different decisions, which affect the quality of our lives and daily surroundings. By building sustainable cities, spaces and buildings, we can create a better future for us and our children. Let's meet to talk about it. Join Future Builders, a dedicated project created for you to share knowledge, inspiration and impulses to build a better future. Let's talk. Sign up today and take part in conversations with world-renowned architects. Witamy na kolejnym spotkaniu w ramach Welcome projektu Future Builders. The next uh, meeting within Future Builders project. I am Piotr Żabiński and today I'll uh, talk to the well-known architect Alvaro Leite Siza. Our conversation about uh, future of architecture and construction. So far we discussed the topic with uh, Robert Konieczny, Przemo Łukasik, with Zbigniew Maćkow. Today we will talk to Alvaro Leite Siza and on the 20th the 1st of October, we'll talk to Bohdan Zaha, uh, the mm, initiator and sponsor of Future Builders project is Alu Prof Company. Today, Alvaro Leite Siza is our guest. Alvaro is a man of many gifts. He draws, paints and apart from architecture, he also designs jewelry, furniture and utility mm, items. And uh, he also excellently writes about architecture and uh, talks about it. His best known projects are uh, Casa Fez in Porto, Casa Tolo in Alvite and residential compre complex in Maya in Portugal, Museum uh, of Wine, Discoteca Estado Novo in Matosinos, Ballroom at uh, Quinta El Nerado and uh, Casa Francisco Ramos Pinto in Francelos and Discoteca Mantra in uh, Matosintos. Uh, he also participated in numerous uh, exhibitions of architecture, painting, furniture, and uh, design and in competitions, for example, international competition uh, for uh, the museum uh, Tomshiro uh, Shiga in Japan, and he designed the Café Fractal for a uh, police program in Villa de Conde. Uh, he's laureate of many awards. Be part of uh, Future Builders. Let's talk about future of architecture and architect. Alvaro, first a few questions from me, uh, whereas I do encourage the audience to ask questions on the chat. I will be reading them in the second part of our conversation. So the first question is about uh, the fact that uh, in the circles of architects I can see various attitudes. Well, simplifying it, we may say that we see architects who are businessmen, scientists, artists or craftsmen. And, uh, in your opinion, in which direction will our profession evolve in the future? What attitudes will be uh, most uh, in, among architects? When I look at your achievements, first of all, I can see an artist, because you paint, design furniture, jewelry, and your architecture is very personal and expressive. But looking at uh, the uh, environment of architects, I think that there are less and less uh, artists among architects. What's your opinion on it? To me, uh, what moves, moves me is to keep on going to, uh, in the direction of the architecture as a heart, of course, and, and expression. It's not, um, since, since I was young, you know, the... the the drawing was something important in my life. I loved to design, to drawing, and later on, these drawings uh, becomes uh, an instrument of thinking. And so, it's very important to find new ideas and to preparing before the, the and developing the, the works. So, I think the architecture must keep on developing. You know the sensitive sides as something that interfere positively in, in the lives and in societies, something that can uh, keep on, uh, uh, you know, inspiring and taking 
um, um, more sensibility to to everybody. But I'm a, a bit upset about the future uh, in general of architecture because what I can see, at least in Portugal, but I think it happened in, in other countries, it's the architecture as a business almost. The real estate is everywhere, you know, and they just um, usually think about it as a business, you know. Uh, for example, several times they don't care about um, green areas. Uh, architecture is not just the buildings, it's um, more than ever and, and always was. It's, it's the landscape, you know, there's and establishing the dialogue be between both, you know, architecture interferes in the, in the late landscape and must create a, a, a nice and beauty ba balance between. So, um, to me, it's important to invert uh, this, this, this tendency, this, this present tendency, that in the future, um, uh, you know, we think about uh, all these things and also preserving, uh, for example, the heritage as uh, examples that uh, natural and truthful examples that we must keep on following. You mentioned the green, the landscape. Uh, well, Louis Sullivan used to say forms follows function. And shouldn't architects today uh, say form follows sustainable development? Is the form today the main... Should the main criterion uh, of evaluating architecture, the form, shouldn't it be secondary to environmental challenges, how do you think? Um, environmental challenges is very important, of course, but the form can follow the function and follow the, the new sustainability uh, um, energies too, of course, it's very important. I think the, the form, when we speak the form, we, we can speak about the scalping, not the the, mat mat the physical materia, but also um, above all, you know, it's to sculpting the space through uh, the, the surfaces and the limits. So everything comes from the drawing, the design, and it's possible to solve all the problems we have um, above us. So with the drawings, with, with the modulation, with thinkings and ideas, we can go uh, and, and um, to, to, you know, creating everything we need. So I think both uh, can, must uh, be a, an important, you know, uh, things, things to develop in the future. Things to. I'm sorry, my English, but sometimes. Um, but uh, that's it. I think the architecture can um, can resolve uh, all these problems uh, in in a sensitive way and in creating a dialogue with with um, the environment and. Um, coordinating everything. It's very important. This. Of course, you are right that this designing should take into account all aspects and form uh, should actually result from taking all those aspects into uh, attention. But my question was that I watch that uh, we still focus on 
drawing uh, facades on sculpturing in the space and we uh, relatively little time uh, we spend on analysis of uh, carbon footprint for example or its circulation and those uh, questions of uh, sustainable development but of course I also believe that uh, probably this part can be done on our behalf uh, by a specialist for, from environmental area. But more and more an architect will have to keep this in mind when designing. Do you agree with uh, me in this of aspect? Course. Of course, of course. It's like structures, for example. Architects has, um, you know, um, a critical sense or um, um, about structures too. When we design a building, for example, we imagine the possibility to, to structing the, the, all the forms and, and the, 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 the building. And about sustainability, it's the same. You see, we must start to, to projecting, you know, with this with this uh, um, reality very present, we, we must, but we, we need techniques uh, to supporting us and to help us. Uh, it's very important, these two. But um, that's it. Well, the activities of an architect, this is the conclusion we came to, that uh, the activity of an architect is uh, related to public space, so uh, to space, to landscape, uh, negatively influencing the environment. At the same time, we, uh, as a rule, work for the investor, for whom very often, and we discussed it earlier, this business approach to architecture. For the investor, what counts, often it is the value of the building and potential return on investment. So where actually there is this borderline between uh, honesty of architect towards the ordering party and responsibility of architect towards the society and environment, because it's not an easy subject, I guess. Of course, <laughs> the architect must, uh, you know, convince the, 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 the owner, the client, about all the important things. Of course, the client come to architect with some problems to, to resolve and architecture interfere in life, you know, positively. So the architect as a co coordinator, you know, must explain to the, to the client that uh, it, uh, Many things are important, not just the space organization, but also, for example, the, the relation with, with the architecture, with the with landscape, with the environment, for example, um, about the proportions, for example, the openings, the lightness, um, the, um, the furniture, for example, interiors are important too, and the part of architecture but also about this um, important um, subject, which is the, the sustainability and the ecological, you know, um, intervention. So I think the, 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 the deal it's the, between the, the dialogue between the, the architect and his ideas and the client too, of course. We must establish, we must, you know, create a, a important uh, a communication to, to go further, of course. So, what results from this is that in future we will also have to, in greater extent than today, we will have to become educators for our investors 
us having the knowledge uh, regarding environmental protection uh, or um, sustainable uh, development, we explain to investors in which direction the project should evolve. But do you think that uh, clients have already matured up to this, uh, to applying pro-ecological solutions in construction today, or is this uh, still work for the future for years? At what stage are we? The architect was supposed to be always uh, as a teacher to the clients, to try and to explain the, the, the all important things, uh, the full things, of course. Uh, but um, about it, the sustainability, it's, it's very important to... to to, to be someone that can influence uh, the positively. Like, like many years before, centuries before, the, art, the architect and the artists always tried to um, improve their ideas and, and to convince the, 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 the customers and the honors and, and, every, and, and all these. Um, but Sometimes it's possible to create this dialogue with, with the clients. Other times it's not possible. It depends on also of the personality of the clients. Um, I saw several times, for example, some clients that simply don't care about this. They care about other things. And for example, in real estate business, you know, um, usually the most important uh, subject for them it's the, the the money and the business and it's up to us to convince that you know developing other energies sustainably energies could be nice for the business too and could be in the future could be something that improve financially also their lives so we must to, to, you know, keep on working next to them and trying to explain these important things. I think that uh, uh, the new European Bauhaus actually talks about this, uh, which points at the necessity for cooperation of various other uh, sectors, uh, professions, but also engineers and scientists. What do you think about this? project, political project, because this is the initiative of European Commission. Uh, so uh, do uh, people talk about uh, the new European Bauhaus of the European Commission in Portugal? Tell us how it is perceived in Portugal. Um, we speak sometimes uh, the environment, at least the School of Porto, the architects connected with this uh, modernist movement, which was very important and still is uh, the influence about them. It's, it's very important they speak about it, about this important subject, and that take this uh, thing for the, the political powers and uh, trying to sensibilizing the, the system, of course, it's very important. And I, I see several times in the media and other contexts the um, biggest sensibilization about the power for that important things, uh, for about the future of the of the communities and and so on. Uh, but I didn't see it, you know expressively, you know, the application of these in, in bulls and uh, trying to take these uh, for the constructions and for architecture expressively. So usually, and I, I think 90% even more uh, of constructions now, they don't care uh, about it. Uh, and we can see everywhere in the cities here in Porto, for example, 
in Portugal in general and other countries, that the business still, you know, goes, is still more expressive uh, and more strong, uh, you know, constructing everywhere, densificating the cities, for example, which I think is terrible, um, you know, constructing in uh, old gardens, for example, public gardens, they sometimes they finish with, with, with this to constructing more and more, uh, destructing, for example, uh, important heritage and beautiful old buildings, um, which were truthful examples of architecture, keeping this balance between landscape and between you know, green areas and the constructions with the materials of the place of the, the local. Um, uh, I'm, I'm a bit upset about this because politicals and in the media, we speak too much. Uh, we start to speaking about this um, ecological life and the future of the sustainability and uh, everything. But um, in the present, the, the things are, are not still so expressive in, in, in that way. The, we architects, we must fight for this and convince the, the, the owners and the, the clients about the importance of this, this, of this um, reality. Wartości. Jasne. These values. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, I understand that you hope uh, that in future uh, balancing, equalization will take place between the difference today, that ideas are uh, actually good for man, nature, but reality is that in life, money is ruling. Well, also, because uh, apart from this, we know that there are some specific realizations where money is at uh, the next place. So increase of value of the real estate, for example. But how do you think? Uh, protecting the resources of the planet, shouldn't we stop building so many new buildings and start using more effectively the already existing assets? You actually mentioned it, that you see with regret that some places in Porto are being built in, uh, although uh, there are many existing places which can be adapted, adopted. You did it for discotheques, which I saw in your portfolio, for example. They were adaptations of existing buildings rather than building new yes, ones. Yes. yes, I love this. Uh, you know, this is very important to keep the heritage and, and trying to conserved these and rebuilding sometimes or, or but preserving the essence uh, and the history you know the, the atmosphere everything it's very important and for example another thing is that i, I can't see the, the you know the political power you know investing on on the plans for the city from the growing grows in area with with different areas where we can improve more for example habitation 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 and new things um, there's no plans you know the strong of the, the financial power do what what they they want what could be most uh, um, expressive for the financially and i think the political power for example uh, at least in the most poor countries must be start to be stronger and can you know organizing plans strong plans to defend things and to promote other others and important things uh, planification is very important and uh, almost not exists. 
We have very similar problems uh, also in Poland, uh, whereas uh, planning uh, actually lost its importance and uh, towns, cities started developing very dynamically that we moved from communism to capitalism and in that period an untamed development of building into the spaces but as you say in Portugal this process is also taking place let's hope that the authorities will learn that they have to control the changes in space because space is the public good the common good but please tell us what you are working on yes. now what are your current projects now space and nature just one more thing space and nature of course we we must keep all, all this and another thing um, it's very important um, i want to speak about this but about the last question just for finished um, um I want to speak about something, but no. Um, okay, let's speak about the, the, the new So things. perhaps, perhaps <laughs> now let us talk about what you are doing now, your current projects, and you will come back to the theme again afterwards. Uh, the thing I want to speak about is that in these uh, most poor countries uh, in Europe, for example, you know, seems that the real estate is the only business that can can you know developing uh, financially the country i think it's important to think about other sources of of, of business and other important things for example we have an incredible area of ocean that we can explore and uh, you know agriculture too and other things but in those times you, you know the real estate and this full construction more hotels if the tourism will be expressive it's the only way that seems we can think about to improve economy we must invert in this and 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 real estate is important, you know, construction and growth the, the countries. But we must do this uh, with plans, with the planification and the political power as a important uh, um, uh, place, important uh, um, and expressive importance, uh, importance on, on to, to coordinating this and to control the situation. Okay. Good. So now about your latest projects, although uh, still referring to what you said, I would like to uh, recall an example, a valuable example of a country in Europe which is managing to cope with maintaining the assets of environment and in investing. Well, I'm talking of Slovenia. People say Slovenia is a European green country, a park. 60% of the territory of Slovenia are forests and they are very rigorous about uh, uh, adhering to where you may design and where designing or constructing is forbidden. So let us hope that in Poland and Portugal in future authorities will also come to the idea to respect the landscape and space so much and allow to build in only those places where construction is really needed. But of now course, back to your important. your current projects. What are you This is doing very important, now? very important. And also between other constructions. They don't respect now, for example, there are an area where the maximum of floors is two or even one. And they, they changed the, the plans uh, in, in, in the political power to build always upper and more floors and more with more density and creating um, a problem between neighbors, for example, and between a problem of insulation 
in, in the cities and in the urban areas. There are lots of things to, to speak about because, you know, the, 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 the tendency has been terrible uh, in that important uh, subject and team. Okay. About about my new new projects. About my new projects, yes. Um, I've been now. I'm I'm very happy and excited because I found an incredible, you know, a nice client, someone very sensitive, very with an incredible and good critical sense too is preoccupied with all these subjects we spoke about today. Um, we have incredible empathy. When this happens, everything will be better <laughs> and uh, can happen easily uh, in, in that way. Uh, so I've been developing uh, a new project in the historic center here in Porto. Uh, this project is full of um, cultural, you know, programs, and um, we. I design. Um, I, I made an example of preservation of heritage, preserving not just the facade but also the structure, the real structure, the the, the size and the proportion of the buildings. Uh, trying to dynamizing this heritage, which is, which is beautiful. It's, it's buildings with uh, 200, 300, 300, and even more. Some uh, has even more um, um, are even more old from the 14th century, for example. And I'm very excited with this new project and the, the, this finally this. Um, great uh, clients and uh, and sponsor um, and another but before uh, i find these 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 new new clients you know i was with few work in portugal because the most clients are just interesting on real estate and these uh, to, to improve just the financially their business and so on and it, in the last decades or years um, i developed here casa fish by myself so um, i keep in all my resources and um, try to i tried to um, coordinating um, or in portuguese i tried to to conciliating objectives I had before, which is I needed a new office, a kind of factory where I can improve my ideas, um, an experimental laboratory where I can, you know, find and, and um, new paths and, and ways to go uh, professionally or, or artistically. Uh, where I can painting, uh, sculpting, and everything, where I can live too. And uh, also a space where I can share with the public, um, with the communities, international communities, because many people come several times to, to visit in the house. And I want to develop in this, creating also in Casa Fish a sustainability. It's very important to me to create a sustainability and to, you know, take from life the best I want to take always, but give to life the best uh, I can give, you know, and in, in a in cultural intervention, you know, trying to sensibilizing the, the, the people. But this project has a fusion between, for example, art and life which is the most important source of inspiration and also between for example culture and fun you know take the, the youngers to here promoting other ex artistic expressions that i love for example cinema 
cinema cycles, um, for example, um, music, uh, concerts, um, uh, theater, uh, circus, for example. I, I love circus. And Casa Fios has an incredible potential for, for it. Um, I preserve a big area, um, a big um, green area, you know. I could, for example, explore these, these grounds uh, financially, you know, constructing more and more, but I preserve this um, as a, a context, important con context for the, the building I design, which is uh, Casa Fierge. So I found these grounds, these beautiful grounds. It's a ground that next to high school where I study many years before and is not connected, wasn't connected with the streets. So the price was really cheap uh, and it was beautiful. And I thought I'm going to buy this not to constructing, but to, to preserve this example as the original example here in the occidental part of, of, of Porto it means Foch. Um, and everybody becomes crazy because people don't understand why do I want to preserve these, these green areas. I want to promote all these um, uh, artistic examples and uh, I want to dynamizing all these ideas um, without borders. It's not just uh, space for architecture. It's, uh, to, it's, it, it's a factory of, 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 of thinking and, and of creating and interacting with people. Um, I ask for, for supportings to the, to the, for example, European funds. Um, Everybody politics becomes interesting uh, in, in these ideas, and it was consensual that it, it's something important for community and so on. But in the end, the money didn't come, and the supporting nothing. So I'm doing this and developing this by myself alone, just alone, but keep on going with the enthusiastic feelings. It's a place where I get freedom, I have freedom uh, and I conquer independence, where I can develop in with, with freedom my ideas. Um, but I, I need to also uh, improve sustainability. And for example, the, um, about the energy in the house, I tried to, I, I thought about, um, um, geothermic energy, for example, which is very, very interesting, and solar panels too, because it's good for the project financially too. At, at, uh, it's, it's important. It's not just a question of ecological question. It's also you know, a fin financial question for sustainability of, 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 the, of the project. So, I'm, I've been developing a kind of art center, a special art center, particular art center here in Casa Fier. It's a dream that I could making make happen, made happen. Uh, but it's a dream, not just one dream. It's something that are constantly grows, uh, uh, expanding uh, with new ideas and. Um, uh, um, so a never-ending project, yes? It's a process, yes. A great respect to you because such a responsible attitude to designing, which you displayed in Casa Fierz, uh, we are missing very often in our cities, where what dominates is actually building into square meters, which can be sold and utilized. What you said is also highly valuable that you understand the space which you are uh, creating 
for example, in Casa Fiesch, as a theater uh, for uh, stage set uh, uh, in the activities of men, where you see the men and various kinds of activity which you create in this space can be happening. It is, for me, really highly respectful and it's really fine that you are implementing such a project because it is not easy. I can guess that uh, actually some funding, for, for example, from European funds should do by supporting uh, this precious initiative and uh, at least for the geothermal uh, energy source or for mounting the photovoltaic panels, uh, which will actually bring you in uh, with your input into sustainable development because you will reduce energy consumption on your house. I wish you to be successful in all that and for the project to operate very, very well in many people. And first of all, to be a good example for investors. Yes, but it wasn't easy, you know, because closer f friends and even, even you know, architects thought that this will be impossible. Because, for example, of the valor of the grounds here in this area, you know, the real estate create these uh, uh, problems of um, over, you know, pr prices and and uh, inflationating some some areas that the businessmen will come and everybody and you know they they create the several pro problems with 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 these thinkings about the business and without rules is very hard and difficult i could uh, find a small not a small but a, an expressive area here still which was a, a ground of the some rural people that still lived here in, in Forge. And this ground wasn't connected with the street. So the price was cheaper, you know, 30, 40 times cheaper than the, the you know, speculative prices around this, this area in Porto. Mm -hmm. Then the, the other grounds, smaller grounds um, that are connected with, with this one, this big one in the middle of the, the neighborhood and with the street. When I found this, the, the owner of these grounds is a cousin of my mother's and we, we could uh, make business and it, it was a big luck but a persistence by myself, you know, and perseverance, you know, during years, I tried to find a way to, um, to go further and to, you know, make this uh, dream happen. And then I start to, to, I sold a small area next to the street with a, a project of mine with, I designed a house. And it was a good business because, and, and also for the, the, the customer that, that bought it. I create um, an environment to, to the house next, the city. And then I designed this, all this, this, the building, which is something figurative. It's a kind of self portrait. Um, you know, my, my architecture comes from the drawing and the drawing usually um try to 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 find ideas uh, about life and uh, you know human interactions and um, human figures too and the architecture is from people and inspiration comes from life it, it's 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 a cycle but casa Fiers, i designed this with with a big potential i think that i can expanding the dream constantly and improve all, all these activities here, uh, uh, trying to invert uh, above uh, through these, these bases, you know, inverting some tendencies and as a, 
as an example to to you know and uh, thinking about the past and other beautiful examples you know the classic greeks um and the the relation they build in relation to nature the sensibility of of all these ex historic examples the renaissance examples beautiful things that they developed and, and everything so casa fears is in the process of growing in, in that way of uh, trying to sensibility to sensibilizing, you know, the communities that usually come to visiting, um, and it's 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 my it's what I want to to improve now uh, from here from my 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 kind of art center, but I'm a little bit upset because I don't have the supportings of the system. And it's been difficult, you know, sometimes I want to improve some happenings here and some uh, things and it's the full silence from the political powers and for the, the community in general. The people love and come constantly, they want to improve also things and concerts and many other things in, in here in Casa Fierce. They love to stay here. The sunsets are beautiful. The, the nature, it's full of nature, nature and, and very pleasant outside the relation between the, the construction and the, the, the landscape, the environment. People want to stay here, but I, I, ha I still have the um, uh, difficult, that makes this difficulties, difficulties uh, to, to, in, to keep on improving this 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 project because uh, I don't know why, but uh, it has been difficult to 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 get sub, uh, political supportings uh, supportings of the system. Let's see what's happened in the future. <laughs> Yes. I do count upon, I do hope that you will succeed. Uh, sometimes in our relations with uh, powers, with the authorities, we have to be patient and uh, actually uh, walk uh, our legs, wear them off uh, by uh, asking questions and, uh, well, I encourage you, dear audience, to ask Alvaro questions. But now, Alvaro, I wanted to ask you about your vision for the future of architecture. How do you see the future of European cities, Porto itself, Fiege, and globally? Globally, how do you see the future of architecture and the place just, just for an architect? Yes, just one thing before, you know about the, the supportings of the system. I think the system in Porto, they are very obsessive, obsessive about, about the architecture in the future, for example, or, and there are, they are creating lots of institutions uh, for architecture uh, expression. You know, Cesar, my father, and in Porto is, is a, a big figure and there are lots of inst public institutions that want to kept, for example, the, 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 the mark of the School of Porto in, in, on, in, on town. I don't see that it's a problem that we can have other, um, you know, bases for, for this as a complementary, you know, expressions. You know, we don't need to to competing each other. It's you know there are some natural realities. We must you know trying to to have the best relations because this can be better for uh, everything. So, Casa, what what I want to say is that Casa Fiers uh, and my paths it's complementary, something natural. It's it's my 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 way artistic way my way to stay and to 
give to life and communities is something that I think is important. Uh, it's complementary, not uh, an example to competing with, with the public and uh, institutions of architecture. Understand? I hope they understand this in the future, even in the present. But let's see. Okay. Uh, about okay. the future. So let's uh, the go future. back to the future. Okay, go back to the future. Uh, about the future, um, that's it. I hope that my um, gift or my, my, for example, here in my, my in Porto, for example, in my, in, in my intervention can change in certain ways, you know, the sensibility of, of the, the, the system and the powers that, that some things we can invert in this tendency of just thinking about business. The business are important. We need the money to improve nice things and important things. Without money, we can do nothing, of course. It's very important. But investing more thinking and about it and trying to invest and, and to improve these the, the old things, you know, intellectually in the, in the best way. It's what, what I what what I think it it will be important in the future. It's to invert in some tendencies, protecting the heritage, for example, and the beautiful, truthful examples that are still you know inspiring us uh, through the the, the, the centuries. The, the, the and uh, and and you know investing in the new uh, ecological ideas too. Uh, I hope that uh, we still keep on discussing all these important subjects to to refine refine the ways and the paths we we are improving. And what for you is the participation in the discussions about the future? So your participation in the Future Builders Initiative, what is it for you? It is, for example, the political powers, you know, gives op opening to the architects and artists, for example, and architects to the com community discussing these uh, with freedom and and open the dialogue not just to the political groups and uh, lobbies financial lobbies but open this discussion to uh, to to the thinkers and and to the creators to the architects to everybody without discriminations understand because of these fights of uh, territory and kind of things this must not exist. The, the only thing it's to me important it's to everybody and together, you know, uh, trying to making a better life, uh, creating and improving a better life in the future. And architecture is very important for this to create to create a better life uh, for for communities. It's it's trying to find uh, oh, yes. Okay. And this is a very good wrap up, uh, a very good point. Today, together, let us work on creating better future, Alvaro. In this struggle for a better world, we architects are actually fitted fitted in by nature of our profession. When designing, we are changing our environment. So let us take good care of our projects to be more ecological. Let us teach investors to respect space and not 
only seeing the increasing value of prices for the real estate, but also to see the balance between the value and property and ownership. And let us create, just like Alvaro is creating, let us create projects with cultural added value resulting from our hearts, emotions, expression, and allegorically, let us comment on the world. Alvaro, thank you very much for and, this and just conversation. One more thing. I, yes. Just one more thing, and open the dialogue to scientists, to techniques, to engineers, to other people that are important for improving the, 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 the better life in, for, in, in the world, and creating dialogues, not just here, in, in individually in the countries but open this, this discussion to the world and creating you know connection between other countries and it's a, it's a global problem that must be thinking by the global the communities of course um, and, as we can see based on today's discussion, our problems between Poland and Portugal are very similar. Also regarding spatial planning and the value of this, and we must together internationally struggle for it so that the questions of planning come back to the right level. And may we succeed. Then our future will be better. Alvaro, thank you very much for today's conversation and for the meeting. And thanks uh, to uh, the um, initiator and sponsor of the event, of the project, Aluprof Company. And already today, let me invite you to the next uh, discussion about the future of architecture. On the 21st of October, Bogdan Zaha will be our guest. So, see you again.